In a peaceful village nestled amidst rolling hills, there lived a young boy named Thomas. He had a heart full of love, but he also possessed a fiery temper that often got the best of him. Thomas's father, a wise and patient man, was determined to teach his son a valuable lesson about anger. One sunny morning, as the birds sang and the flowers bloomed, Thomas's father approached him with a bag of nails in hand. With a calm and loving demeanor, he said, Son, I want to help you learn to control your temper. From now on, every time you lose your temper, I want you to hammer a nail into the old wooden fence in our yard. Thomas agreed to this unusual request, and so it began. On the first day, fueled by anger, he hammered thirty-seven nails into the fence. The fence bore the brunt of his frustration, but Thomas didn't feel any better afterward. Over the following weeks, as Thomas found himself growing angrier at times, he continued to hammer nails into the fence. Slowly, though, he began to realize the futility of his actions. The fence was now filled with scars, each representing a moment of his lost temper. It was an unsightly sight that pained him. Gradually, Thomas learned to control his temper. The number of nails hammered into the fence dwindled, for he discovered that it was easier to hold his anger in check than to inflict damage on the old wooden fence. Finally, a day arrived when Thomas didn't lose his temper at all. He eagerly shared this achievement with his father. His father, in turn, suggested, now that you've learned to control your anger, it's time to mend the damage you've done. Pull out one nail for each day you keep your temper under control. As the days passed, Thomas diligently removed one nail for each day he maintained his composure. The fence began to look better, but the scars remained. Deep holes marred its once smooth surface. When Thomas had successfully removed all the nails, he excitedly told his father. His father smiled and took his hand, leading him to the fence. You've done well, my son, he said. But do you see the scars left by those nails? They serve as a reminder that when you say hurtful things in anger, they leave wounds just like these. Even if you apologize, the scars may heal, but they'll never completely disappear. Thomas gazed at the fence, understanding the profound lesson his father had imparted. He realized that words spoken in anger could hurt deeply, leaving lasting scars on someone's heart. From that day forward, he vowed to think before he spoke and to use words of kindness and love, knowing that once words were spoken, they could never be taken back. And so, Thomas grew into a young man who not only controlled his temper but also used his words to heal rather than harm. His father's lesson had left an indelible mark on his heart, a scar that reminded him of the power of words and the importance of speaking with love and compassion.